Kelantan Malay pronunciation, K Lantan, Jawi, Klantan RTGS, Kelantan, Kelantanese, Kelet is a state of Malaysia. The capital and royal seat is Kota Baru. The honorific of the state is Darul Naim, Jawi, Dar the blissful abode. Kelantan is positioned in the northeast of peninsular Malaysia. It is bordered by Naratiwat province of Thailand to the north, Terengganu to the southeast, Perak to the west and Pahang to the south. To the northeast of Kelantan is the South China Sea. Kelantan is located in the northeastern corner of the peninsula. Kelantan, which is said to translate as the land of lightning, see alternate theories below, is an agrarian state with green paddy fields, rustic fishing villages and casuarina-lined beaches. Kelantan is home to some of the most ancient archaeological discoveries in Malaysia, including several prehistoric aboriginal settlements. Due to Kelantan's relative isolation and largely rural lifestyle, Kelantanese culture differs somewhat from Malay culture in the rest of the peninsula. This is reflected in the cuisine, arts and the unique Kelantanese Malay language, which is unintelligible even for some speakers of standard Malay. Topic: History. Topic: There are a number of suggestions for the origin of the name Kelantan. One theory proposes that the word Kelantan comes from a modified version of the word Jelam Hudam, i.e. the Malay word for the Kajapit, or Swamp Tea Tree Other theories claim that the name comes from the Malay word Kilatan, shiny, glittery, or Kolam Tana, clay pool. Kelantan was called Kelantan Thai, Klantan by the Siamese when it was under their influence. Another occasionally quoted suggestion is that Kelantan, derived originally from the Indian, Kolantana, or Kolam Tana, which meant land of Kolan, or land of Kolam. The term Kolan, or Kolam, referring to the floor paintings, diagrams in the numerous Hindu temples which dotted the land in the very ancient days. Kolantana, or Kolam Tana, gradually became Kalantan, to fit in better with the speaking dialect of the local people. Kalantan early history is not very clear, but archaeological findings show Kelantan's evidence as a human settlement in prehistoric times. Early Kelantan had links to the Funan Kingdom, the Khmer Empire, Sri Vijaya, Majapahit and Siam. Around 1411, Raja Kumar, the ruler of Kelantan, became independent of Siam, and Kelantan became an important center of trade by the end of the 15th century. Kelantan Sultanate In 1499, Kelantan became a vassal state of the Malacca Sultanate. With the fall of Malacca in 1511, Kelantan was divided up and ruled by petty chieftains, paying tribute to Patani, then the supreme Malay kingdom of the eastern peninsula. By the early 17th century, most of these Kelantan chiefs became subject to Patani. The legendary CIK city Wan Kambang was said to have reigned over Kelantan sometime between the 16th and 17th centuries. Around 1760, Long Yunus, an aristocratic warlord of Patani origin succeeded in unifying the territory of present-day Kelantan and enthroned by his father in La Ku Tanang Wangsa, regent of Terengganu as Yang Di Pertuan Muda or deputy ruler of Kelantan. Long Yunus was succeeded in 1795 by his son in law Tengku Muhammad Sultan Mansur of Terengganu. The enthronement of Tengku Muhammad by Terengganu was opposed by Long Yunus' sons, thus, triggering a war against Terengganu by Long Muhammad, the eldest son of Long Yunus. The pro Terengganu faction was defeated in 1800 and Long Muhammad ruled Kelantan with the new title of Sultan as Sultan Muhammad I. Nevertheless, the death of childless Long Muhammad triggered another civil war among claimants to the throne. His nephew and son of Long Tan, Temegong, Long Senek Mullet Mera, triumphed over his uncles and cousins and assumed the throne in 1835 as Sultan Muhammad II. Sultan Muhammad II leveraged on his loose alliance with Siam to form the modern Kelantan state, centered in his new fort on the eastern bank of the Kelantan River, which became Kota Baru in 1844. Topic Unfederated Malay States Topic Under the terms of the Anglo-Siamese Treaty of 1909, the Thais relinquished their claims over Kelantan, Terengganu, Kedah and Perlis to Great Britain, and Kelantan thus became one of the Unfederated Malay States with a British advisor. 
Topic Japanese occupation Topic Kelantan was where the Japanese first landed during their invasion of Malaya, on 8 December 1941. In 1943, Kelantan was transferred by the Japanese to Thailand and became a province of Thailand. Kelantan reverted to British protection upon the end of World War II in August 1945. Topic Malayan Union and Federation of Malaya Topic Kelantan became part of the Malayan Union in 1946 and then the Federation of Malaya on 1 February 1948, and together with other Malayan states attained independence on 31 August 1957. On 16 September 1963, Kelantan became one of the states of Malaysia. Topic Geography Topic Rising high on the slopes of Gunung Korbu, the second highest peak in peninsular Malaysia, the Nenjiri River flows east to merge first with the Galas, and then with the Labir, the latter born in the wilds of Taman Negara National Park, before turning decisively northwards and emptying into the shallow waters of the South China Sea. From Kuala Krai the conjoined streams become the Kelantan River, a broad, mud-colored stream which dominates the fertile coastal plains and defines the geography of the region. The Kelantan River Valley is a fertile rice bowl, rich in hardwoods and rubber and lush with tropical fruits. For centuries, Kelantan was all but separated from the rest of the country by the Taitawingsa Mountains, a mountain range running from north to south through the peninsula. Weeks of hard travel were required to reach Kelantan. The easy way to Kelantan was to sail around the peninsula, braving the sea and pirates. For this reason Kelantan's history often involves the sea, and boats. Even today, many of its people are very much tied to the sea. A discussion with many coastal residents will confirm that their ancestors, as far back as they know, were of the sea. In the early 1980s, trunk roads were built to link it with nearby states. Presently, one can travel by road from the capital city Kuala Lumpur to Kota Baru through the mountain range within eight hours. Topic economy Topic Kelantan has a chiefly agrarian economy dominated by rice, rubber, and tobacco. Fishing along its 96-kilometer coastline is also an important economic activity. Cottage industries which employ traditional skills in handicraft production such as batik, woodcarving and sonket weaving are also evident. Logging activities are active given the vast remaining area of forest. In recent years, tourism, especially to offshore islands, has increased in importance. A few reputable hotels have been established and more modern shopping malls have been opened to cater for urban folks. Kota Baru, the capital, is the major urban center, and there are also plans to open up the southern portion of the state under an ambitious multi-million dollar development project. The main market at the city center is a top attraction. Kelantan had a GDP per capita in 2006 at ERM 7,985. The State Socioeconomic Report 2017 published on July 26, 2018 reported that Kelantan has a GDP per capita of ERM 13,593 in 2017, significantly lower than any other state in Malaysia. Climate Kelantan has a tropical climate, with temperatures from 21 to 32 degrees Celsius and intermittent rain throughout the year. The wet season is the east coast monsoon season from November to January. Politics and government Constitution the Constitution of Kelantan came into force in 1949 and is divided into two sections. The first part of the laws. The second part of the laws enforced upon the people. Topic. Sultan of Kelantan. Topic. The Sultan of Kelantan is the constitutional ruler of his state. The role, duties and powers of the Sultan are as laid out in the state's constitution and other state laws. The constitution proclaims that the executive power of the state is vested in the Sultan, that he is the head of the religion of Islam in the state and that he is the source of all honors and dignities in the state. The current ruler of the state is Duli Yang Maha Mulia Sultan Muhammad Faris Petra Ibni Sultan Ismail Petra. Topic. State Executive Council. Topic. 
The State Executive Council is established by the Constitution. It is composed of the Mentari Besar, who is its chairman, and ten other members. The Mentari Besar and other members of the council are appointed by the Sultan of Kelantan from members of the State Assembly. The current Mentari Besar is Datuk Ahmad Yaqub. He succeeded the Mentari Besar 22 years ruled, Dato Nick Abdul Aziz Nick Mat Tak Guru, a religious teacher and former Mercedal Am spiritual leader of PA. Topic. Political background Topic. See also, asterisk breakdown of state seats representatives elected 2013A part of the deeply conservative Malay heartlands, Kelantan has been ruled by the Islamic Party of Malaysia since 1990. It is currently one of two Malaysian states ruled by PA after the 2018 elections, the other being Terengganu. Almost all PA members are Malay Muslims, as are about 95% of Kelantan's population. The state of Kelantan is almost synonymous with PA, as Kelantan has been under PA rule for two lengthy periods. Neighboring Terengganu has also been under PA rule twice, but for short periods each time 1959-1962 and 1999-2004. The first period of PA rule in Kelantan began two years after independence, in 1959, and lasted 18 years 1959-1977. The current period is 28 years long and counting 1990. In November 1977, a state of emergency in Kelantan was declared by the federal government following a political crisis and street violence. An election took place soon after the emergency which was won by UMNO. The interval between the two periods of PA government, when the Barisan Nasional Coalition ruled the state, was only about 12 years the 11th of March 1978 to the 21st of October 1990. In the 1990 general election, PA returned with an overwhelming victory, winning all the 39 state and 13 parliamentary seats. The victory was achieved through the PA-led coalition, called Angkatan Perpaduan Umma Apu. In the following general election in 1995, PA won again, though with a reduced majority. PA won big in 1999, due in significant part to Malay anger over the treatment of former Deputy Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim by then Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad and other officials of the national government. However, PA very nearly lost control of Kelantan, retaining it with only a one seat majority. In 2004, when Barisan Nasional, under the new leadership of Abdullah Badawi following Tun Mahathir's retirement, won by a landslide nationally. However, after the Malaysian general election, 2008, PA regained the two-third majority of seats in the state assembly. For years, PA has attempted to impose a strict interpretation of Islamic law on Kelantan. It has succeeded in imposing certain social strictures such as single-sex queues in supermarkets, separate public benches for men and women, and limiting entertainment centers to prohibit salacious behavior. Proposals to institute punishments such as amputation of limbs for thievery and execution for blasphemy collectively known as Hudud law, however, have been blocked by the national government on constitutional grounds. One of the most controversial steps PA has taken in Kelantan is to place tough restrictions or outright bans on the traditional performance of syncretic Malay theatrical forms, such as Wayang Kulit, Mak Yang, Dakir Bharat, and Main Puteri. PA also took action to vanish any sculpture that looked like human or animal, modified versions without the traditional references to Hindu Diwa Dewi and traditional Malay Hantu spirits or ghosts and otherwise in keeping with Orthodox Islam are, however, tolerated in certain cases. Also restricted are public performances by women, aside from Quran recitals, such performances are completely banned if any men are in the audience. While PA has maintained that these steps were essential to promote Islam and put an end to immoral behavior among the Muslim population, many consider them an act of defiance against Barisan Nasional's laws, which are more tolerant or laxer, depending on one's viewpoint, and also a major loss to Malay traditional arts. PA has also ardently defended the practice of child marriage, a practice that been the focus of recent controversy due to recent cases in Kelantan. Topic. Oil royalties Topic. Topic. Assignment deed Topic. 
On 9 May 1975, an agreement was signed between the Kelantan Chief Minister of the time Datuk Muhammad Nasir, and the Chairman of Petronas, Tenku Razali Hamza. According to the terms of the agreement, Kelantan was to receive cash payment, Bayaran Tunai. The term, royalties, was not used in the agreement of 5% a year biennially, for any oil found in Kelantan or its coastal areas. In return, Kelantan grants Petronas to exclusive rights to petroleum whether lying onshore or offshore of Malaysia." As to the issue whether Kelantan has the right to claim oil royalties from federal government as enumerated in the assignment deed. The question arises put so much legal complication and it is trans-border many relevant statutes namely Petroleum Development Act 1974, Petroleum Mining Act 1966 and requires legal interpretation on some provisions in federal constitution. Being the supreme law of the land, any law or any agreements enacted inconsistent with federal constitution is void. Since, Malaysia is a federation of 13 states, the division of powers between two level of governments central government and state government are the most important feature in the federal constitution. Relevant with the issue, Article 76 gives powers to two level of governments accordingly set out in Schedule 9. In Schedule 9, List I of the Federal Constitution, the following topics are assigned to the federal government. Except as to state rights over permits and licenses, the federal government has rights over development of mineral resources, mines, mining, minerals and mineral ores, oils and oilfields, petroleum products, safety in mines and oilfields, gas and gasworks, production and distribution of power and energy, foreign and extraterritorial jurisdiction, Treaties, agreements and conventions with other countries and all matters which bring the Federation into relations with any other country is for the state government. Land, Schedule 9 List 2, Para 2 a. Under the Interpretation Acts, 1948 and 1967, Section 3, Land includes the surface of the earth, all substances therein, all vegetations and other natural products, whether on or below the surface, and land covered by water. The territorial waters of Kelantan will come within the definition of land covered by water. Territorial waters are defined by Section 4 of the Emergency Essential Powers Ordinance No. 7, 1969. Subject to some exceptions, they refer to three nautical miles. Revenue from lands, Schedule 10, Part 3 Para 2. In addition to the income from land, one notes that in Article 110 3A, there is provision for discretionary payment on such terms and conditions as may be prescribed by or under federal law of the export duty on mineral oils produced in the state. Petroleum comes within the meaning of mineral oils under Section 10 of the Petroleum Development Act. It is clear, from the schedule, Peninsular Malaysia states has the constitutional right to fees for permits and licenses for extraction of any petroleum that is derived from their land and territorial waters. Anything beyond territorial waters, such as on the continental shelf, is entirely in federal hands. However, because exploration of oil and gas is approximately 150 km from Kota Baru and beyond the territorial water of Kelantan. Relying on that, Emeritus Professor Dr. Shad Salim Faruqi concludes Kelantan has no constitutional right to regulate it and to receive compensation for it. He further argued given the agreement deed to support Kelantan rights over royalties will render as unconstitutional and void under the doctrine of severability constitutional parts of the law remain even if other parts are unconstitutional, as the assignment by Kelantan gives to Petronas the ownership of all petroleum, whether lying onshore or offshore of Malaysia, was an overstatement, and Kelantan has no rights to what lies off the shores of the whole of Malaysia. Indeed, it is the rights of federal government guaranteed by constitution that extraterritorial operations are in their hands. States cannot transfer rights over something they do not own. In the case of Kelantan and any other peninsular Malaysian state, the deed should have been worded to refer only to onshore petroleum. Unfortunately for Kelantan, the matter cannot end with the two agreements. There is a supreme constitution in Malaysia with a federal state division of legislative and financial powers. The constitutional allocation cannot be altered except by constitutionally permitted procedures and amendments. Even mutual agreements cannot override the constitutional scheme of things because jurisdiction is a matter of law and not of consent or acquiescence. Current action 
Topic. The Kelantan state government is owed between RM850 million and RM1 billion from oil revenue royalties from the central government, according to the Petroleum Act 1974. In 2009, the central government offered compensation, or Wang Aesan, a fraction of the sum actually owed. Discrimination of Kelantan on the matter has led the state government considering action in the International Court of Justice ICJ. Support for Kelantan and the local government in defiance of the central government includes the group Kelantan People's Movement Demanding Petroleum Royalties or Jerikan Manuntut Royalty Petroleum Rakyat Kelantan GMR. Demographics the largely rural state preserves rich Malay traditions such as kite flying contests, top spinning contests, and bird singing competitions, and traditional handicrafts such as batik, songket, and silver crafts. As a border state and former vassal state of Thailand, Kelantan has absorbed influences from Thai customs and traditions that help to make the state's culture distinct from those of other states of Malaysia. The Kelantanese people, regardless of ethnic origin, are proud of their state and its unique local culture and dialect. All the ethnicities generally live together harmoniously in Kelantan. For example, members of the Thai community received a permit to build a very large statue of the Buddha without any objection from the Malay community or the PA government that granted the permit. Ethnic groups Malays Topic. Kelantanese Malay people are the predominant ethnic group in the state. They speak Kelantanese Malay which is distinguished from standard Malay as well as other Malay varieties in Malaysia by its unique grammar, pronunciation and figures of speech. Kelantanese Malay are somewhat partially intelligible with other Malay variants. Whilst the Arabic script called Jawi has less influence in the other parts of Malaysia, it is still widely used in writing and printing the Malay language in Kelantan. Signboards in Kelantan are written in both Jawi and Rumi. To a certain extent, Thai is also used. 94% of Kelantan's population are ethnic Malays, and under the Malaysian constitution, all Malays are Muslims, therefore, Islam is the most influential religion in the state. To most Malaysians, Kelantan is synonymous with Malays arts and crafts. Kota Baru, as the state capital, is a popular centre for such pursuits as silat, martial arts, and kertak drumming. Here, too, more than any other place in Malaysia, the traditional pastimes of top spinning known as gassing and the flying of giant, elaborately decorated kites called WAU are still much in evidence. Siamese The minority ethnic Thai inhabitants of Kelantan are mostly centered in an area around the coastal town of Tumpat, site of most of the state's 200 or so Buddhist temples, and noteworthy for its number of relatively well-off Siamese villages. The dialect of the Thai language spoken in Kelantan is called Tak Bai, after the southernmost coastal town Tak Bai of Naratiwat province, just across the Golak River from Malaysia. Tak Bai dialect differs substantially from standard Southern Thai and other regional Thai dialects, and it seems certain that the Kelantan Thais are the descendants of an original enclave of Naratiwat settlers established in sparsely populated Malay territory as long as four centuries ago. Buddhism is also visible, in that hundreds of Thai Wats also known as Kedak can be found throughout the state. The longest statue of a reclining Buddha in Southeast Asia can be found in Wat Fotivihan, in Tumpat. The reclining Buddha at Wat Fotivihan in Kelantan opened in 1980. This temple is very popular with pilgrims and devotees. The Metta chanting is using the original language Pali, or in Thai translation. The Thai group will conduct the religious celebration at the Wat such as Tokkatana, Loi Kratong, Saibot, Songkran, and so forth. 1,000 visitors will attend this function. Topic. Chinese. Topic. In Kelantan, the Kelantanese Chinese see themselves as either Chino Kapong village Chinese or Chino Bundar town Chinese. 
Famous Chinese villages in Kelantan include Kampung Tokkong, 300-year-old temple, Batu Jong, Kampung Jelatok, Kampung Jo, Kampung Temangan, Kampung Mata Air, Kampung Tawang, Kampung Balai, and Gua Musong. Descendants of the earlier waves of small-scale migration are known as Og Chino Kito, our very own Chinese, and the elders are seen as Og Kelit Beto, true Kelantanese. China Kampung assimilation in Kelantan is manifested as. Malay behavior as front stage and Chinese behavior as backstage. Front stage or public behavior includes speaking Kelantanese Malay even when among themselves, adopting Malay style clothing, and observing certain Malay customs and holidays. Backstage or private behavior includes maintaining certain traditional Chinese beliefs and customs confined only within the home. A pattern which they also associate as Peranakan Chinese, nonetheless they are culturally different in some ways from the straight Chinese Peranakan of Malacca, Penang and Singapore or even the Indonesian Peranakans. The China Kampung in Kelantan have native speaker competence in the Kelantanese dialect. It is impossible to tell a Malay from a Chinese by listening to his speech in the Kelantanese dialect, without looking at the person. Much of Chinese culture still continues until today, such as lion dance and dragon dance during the Chinese New Year, temple celebration, eating bakshang meat dumpling, mooncake, baby full moon, pullet kuning, teller mera, eat, e, tangyan, religious celebration including praying na tuk kong. They also cook, bak hong, wang, meatball, during the wedding ceremony and, kiam mai, during the funeral. The village of Kampung Tok. Kong in the Kelantan state of Malaysian is well known for a historically significant Chinese temple known as Seng Chun Kiong. 25 km from Kota Baru, it is located within a paddy field village with a population of around 500 person. The temple is approximately 300 years old. It is dedicated to the worship of the goddess Matsu. Every year on the equivalent date to the 23rd of March on the Chinese calendar, the birthday of Mazu is commemorated with concerts, lion dance, carrying God ride. Kang Kyo, single quote comma single quote, Siam He, and also Weiang Kulit show for three days. Chinese and Mazu followers visit the temple to pay homage to Mazu, to offer prayers for health and wealth, as well as for personal safety and security and eat Kampung Takong most famous. Bak Hong Unlike the Chinese in other parts of Malaysia, Kelantanese Chinese prefer to conduct their wedding party at home rather than at a restaurant. This reflects their mindset that their presence to celebrate the newlyweds is more important than the wedding banquet and also make it a gathering ceremony to celebrate the Aungsu. Red, happiness. The more guest mean the house owner is more respectable. This is further proven by their generosity of the money gifts from the newly weds. Usually the wedding ceremony begins on Thursday night and proceeds until the next morning because the weekend holiday is Friday in Kelantan. For good luck, the groom has to bring home the bride before 12 noon on the Friday with flowers decorate car. Most Chinese villagers bury their deceased ones at the local town cemetery. Others cremate the dead at the nearest Wat. If the deceased is old, a three-day funeral ceremony and memorial is conducted, complete with chanting from the monks. But if the deceased is of the younger generation, they are either buried or cremated as soon as possible. They also offers prayers for anniversary for the death. Example, for villager in Kampung Tok. Kong also have cemetery known as Chiaka Sua, located nearby Kampung Tok, Kong, and one of the biggest cemetery in Kelantan is Fu Long Shan, located in nearby Kem Desa Palawan. Topic: Orang Asli. Topic: Orang Asli, mostly Timiar, are people who have lived in the forests of Kelantan and Perak for thousands of years. Some of the Timiar maintain traditional beliefs in their natural surroundings and other forms of animist elements. Other Orang Asli ethnic groups that lives within the state are Jahais, Batiks and Mendriks. <inaudible> Indians in Kelantan, the Indians most notably Tamils are the smallest ethnic group and most notably settled in Kota Baru established themselves as shop owners and laborers, they made up to 4,800 of the population. Religion 
Topic. As of 2010 the population of Kelantan is 95.2% Muslim, 3.8% Buddhist, 0.3% Christian, 0.2% Hindu, 0.5% follower of other religions or non-religious. Statistics from the 2010 census indicate that 93.2% of the Chinese population identify as Buddhists, with significant minorities of adherents identifying as Muslims 3.0%, Christians 2.8%, and Chinese folk religions 0.6%. The majority of the Indian population identify as Hindus, 76.5%, with a significant minorities of numbers identifying as Muslims, 11.6%, Buddhists, 6.7%, and Christians, 3.7%. The non-Malay Bumiputera community are predominantly Muslims 39.8%, with significant minorities identifying as atheists 30.3%, and Christians 14.3%. All Malays are considered Muslims according to the law. Topic: Cuisine. Topic: The Kelantanese cuisine, heavily influenced by Malay cuisine. Kelantanese food makes more use of coconut milk than anywhere else in the country. Curries are richer, and creamier. <inaudible> Local specialties <inaudible> Apart from consumable items from local and also imported from Thailand, there are dishes which have developed through the rich culture of the Kelantanese themselves, such as Kolek Contrary to popular belief, kolek is not just a dipping sauce, but can also refer to a snack eaten with the sauce. Kolek comes in various forms, including meaty kolek, kolek ayam chicken, kolek perut cow tripe, kolek pelapong cow or lamb lung, usually fried plain, and also a variety of kolek bua fruits, usually unmatured, thus crunchy and taste sour, such as kolek pa mango, the sauce or the kolek comes in various forms. Kolek manis with brown sugar. A sweet, sour and very mildly hot version. This kolek is different from other chili sauces because kolek is very thin and rather sweet. This dipping sauce is used for chicken, and also goes well with shrimp, fish cake, spring roll, sausage, etc. Budu Budu is a salted fermented anchovy sauce eaten mainly as flavoring with rice, grilled fish and vegetables, salads ulam. A bit of lime juice, hot chilies and shallots are added on for taste. Also, tempoyak fermented durian or fresh durian is added for good measure. Once so combined, the purple-brownish condiment has a blend of salty and sour taste. Sometimes, budu is used in cookings as part of the ingredient. Nowadays, other types of fish are also used to create budu. Famous budu maker villages are Kilogram. Tawang, Bachak and Kilogram. Penambang near Kota Baru. Similar sauces are found in the Philippines and Indochina, Vietnam, Cambodia. Topic: <inaudible> Thai-influenced dishes. Topic: Somtam. Somtam is a green papaya salad with a salty, spicy, and sour taste. The main items in it are young, unripe papaya, soy sauce, groundnuts, fish sauce, lime juice, and chilies. These items are combined in a mortar, pounded with a pestle for few seconds and served. The salty and lime juicy taste is very popular. This light dish is widely available in regions with large numbers of ethnic Thais, such as Tumpat and Siamese Wats, Tom Yum. Culture Kelantan is known as the cradle of Malay culture based on the diverse cultural activities practiced by Kelantanese. Among the popular cultural practices are Dakir Bharat, Wayang Kulit Kelantan, Wayang Kulit Melayu, Mak Yang, Menorah, Main Puteri, Wau Bulan, Kite Flying, Gassing, Top Spinning, Silat, Tamoy, Bird Singing Competition and Handicrafts. Among the handicraft products that are Songkit, Batik, Silverware and Mengkuang. The Candies Resource Center provides information on the Kalantanese wood carving. Topic: <inaudible> Administrative Divisions. Topic: Topic: Districts. Topic: 
Districts in Kelantan are called Jajahans, though actually the direct translation of Tana Jajahan in Malay to English is, "...occupied territories". Kelantan was a divided feudal state, a common situation in the Malay Peninsula, with separate petty local rulers. However, a strong one managed to rise and conquer all these small petty territories. In the end, Kelantan became united under one sultan. The eleven Jajahans, from left to right, are written in Rumi and Jawi. Jajahan Kota Baru Kutha Bar Jajahan Pasir Mas Vasir Miz Jajahan Tumpat Twivat Jajahan Pasir Puta Vasir Vutai Jajahan Bachak Bachauk Jajahan Kuala Krai Kuala Krai Jajahan Machong Mak Jajahan Tana Mera Tanachmer Jajahan Jilai Jili Jajahan Gua Musang Wa Muse Jajahan Kessel Lodging Lauji Autonomous Subdistrict under Gua Musang Ranking Population Kelantan Patani Historically, Kelantan had a strong relationship with the Patani Kingdom. Patani and Kelantan are geopolitically divided but culturally united. Kelantanese and Southern Thais cross the border frequently to visit their relatives and transport goods for small business. Tourism Topic. Among the popular tourist destinations in Kelantan are City Khadija Market, named after Prophet Muhammad's entrepreneurial wife, it's a fitting name for a market mostly run by women. Taman Negara, located in the Gua Musang region, Kelantan, near the Pahang border and Terengganu. It is located in the Hantu Hill and Labir Reserve Forest. Wat Fotivihan Sleeping Buddha, this temple is one of the 25 temples found in Tumpat, and is one of the most popular in the country. Sultan Ismail Petra Silver Jubilee Mosque, this mosque architecture is unique because it combines Chinese and Islamic architecture and resembles a 1,000-year-old Niuji Mosque in Beijing, China. Arama Bachak Beach, located within the Bachak District and is the main tourist spot of Bachak District residents and Kelantan residents in particular. Gunning Stong State Park, home to one of the highest waterfalls in Malaysia, the seven-tiered Jelawang Waterfall. Muhammadi Mosque, one of the symbols of splendor in this city that has the hallmarks of graceful gates and golden colors. Al Muhammadi Mosque name is a tribute to the late Sultan Muhammad IV contribution and service to the state. Masjid al Ismaili, mosque located in Bundar Baru Pasir Pakan, Wakaf Baru. Pantai Bisakan Bayu, Beach of Whispering Breeze, also known as Pantai Dalam Ru, the gentle breeze at the beach produces a hushed sound that, locals say, sounds like a soothing whisper. Handicraft Village and Craft Museum, also known as Balai Gedam Guri, it houses many fine examples of Kelantanese craftsmanship such as traditional embroidery, songket weaving, batik printing, silver work, and wood carving. Topic notable Kalantanese Topic Nick Abdul Aziz Nick Matt, Chief Minister of Kalantan 1990-2013. Fadan Zakira Zain Jalani, National Rhythmic Gymnasts. P. Uthayakumar, Legal Advisor of HINDRAF. We Chu Kiong, Former Member of Parliament for Wangsa Maju. Tan Seng Giaw, Former Member of Parliament of Kepong. Topic see also topic Kelantan Royal Mausoleum topic References topic topic Further reading topic HTTPS colon slash slash www.grab.com slash my slash press slash business slash grab dash widest dash network slash Kadazan bin Abdullah, and Abdul Razak Yaqob, 1974. Pasir Langji, a Batek Negrito resettlement area in Ulu Kelantan. Pulau Penang, Social Anthropology Section, School of Comparative Social Sciences, University Sains Malaysia. Warrison Kelantan. Purabadanan Museum Negri Kelantan, 1985. Topic external links Topic Official site of Kelantan State Government Kelantan Online, e-commerce and info tourism portal Virtual Malaysia Kelantan page Malaysian General Election 2008 Candidates for Kelantan Malaysia Parliamentary Seats Dewan Rakyat from Kelantan Kelantan State Assembly Seats Dewan Undangan Negri Permanent Dead Link Launches Sarya Currency KB City, Pita Lengkap Bundar Kota Baru Tourism Malaysia, Kelantan